Welcome, 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 everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is your weekly energy foresight for November 22nd through the 28th, the last full week in November and Thanksgiving week for us in the U.S. So for all of November, we've been working with the Green Witch Tarot, and that is by Ann Mora, and the art is by Kiri Ostegard Leonard. And we've had some great readings. Last week, we took a little bit of a turn just because we had the eclipse, and that energy was very, very interesting to say the least. We had a lot of churning going on to get rid of old patterns, old thoughts, old things, and really focus in on this new stuff that we're learning. And this week is just the same, except only better. For the reading for the 22nd through the 28th, and that's Monday through Sunday, It is the nine of chalices or the nine of cups. And the message is, as if this month couldn't get any better, you've received the wishes granted card. What do you wish for this week, this month, 2021, 2022? How about beyond? Are you thinking of your new skill as a business yet? A hobby, a way to earn extra income, or maybe you can start right now this week figuring out your future plans. The outlook is good. So for this week, we have the wishes granted card. This card has actually come up quite a few times this year. So it's just reminding you, prepare yourself for manifesting. Prepare yourself to really dive deep on what it is that you want. That way the universe knows exactly what you want and can deliver it in that manner. I always tell people when you're manifesting, try and be as crystal clear as possible. Be as crystal clear as just, you know, that color, that beautiful color that is just Vibrant, vibrant, vibrant. When we have technicolor, just know that when you are able to focus in on exactly what you want, the universe has nothing left except to give you exactly what it is that you want. As long as it's for your highest and best good, and if you truly believe that you can receive it, the more you spend with that vision, with that idea, with that creative aspect of of envisioning what it is that you want, the easier, or more effortless, the universe is going to be able to deliver it to you exactly the way that you want it. If we're not crystal clear and we just say, blah, we want this, and um, we're not even really believing that we want that, or maybe we just don't need it, or maybe it's not for your highest and best good. Maybe it's not for your journey then it's just going to either show up kind of mucky. You're not going to realize that that is actually for you. And you're just going to pass it by because what's the reason? It's not for your highest and best good. So yeah, it can come or go. It's not, it's whatever. Each of us has specific things that we're here to do. We're here to be, we're here to experience. And when we tap into what that is, when we're really able to focus in on what we're here to do or be or have, then it is much easier for your soul's journey, your life purpose to really follow down that road. And those things really just kind of keep coming to you just easily and effortlessly, the more and more that we are in alignment with what we are truly wanting, needing, and wanting to experience. So just be aware of that this week, because truly the outlook is good. So for midweek and end week, we have, I'll be working with the energy Oracle cards, and that is by Sandra Ann Taylor. So for midweek, the card that came through is door to spirit. How wonderful is that? We have such wonderful 
we have the ability to really work with spirit this week. And that is really helpful, especially when we have the wishes granted card. That way they know exactly what we're wanting. That two-way communication is easy and effortless. So for the door to spirit, the idea behind this card is spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. How fabulous is that? Spiritual awakenings happen when we least expect them. It is such a wonderful thing to have these spiritual awakenings, our ahas, those times when we can really tap in and feel a shift within. Also, it is that door to spirit where we can have that communication, that easy and effortless communication with spirit so that we can get guidance, so that we can ask questions, receive answers very quickly. Just know that your spirit team is ready and willing to lend a helping hand. And so they are right there waiting for you to ask, just ask, and they will help you to see what it is that you truly are desiring. That way your wishes can be granted. So for end week, and that is the 25th through the 28th or Thursday through Sunday, the card that came through is angel of love. And this is all about tender connections, tender connections, whether that is with our spirit team, our ancestors or those in spirit, or it is people here. doesn't matter what kind of partnership or connection relationship. It's all going to be tender and loving. This angel has all of those pinks and rosy colors that are associated with that tender, loving care. So just know when we see these colors, just know the angel of love is right there helping you always and forever. All right. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. And I will see you next Monday for another reading. And if you're in the United States, have a fabulous and blessed Thanksgiving and happy Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday. I will actually be sharing my Black Friday through Cyber Monday surprise on Thanksgiving Day. So look forward to that. You take care, have a wonderful week, and as always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care.